Hi everybody, welcome to Leaked Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode. And, um, yeah. Saw this at the store a couple weeks ago, and uh, thought, why not? So we've got this wine called Joe Blow Red, from the Joe Blow Wine Cellars, $7.99, H-E-B Plus, 2005, California Red Wine. Now, this is a blend of various... Uh, red varietals cannot find really anything on the on the web about it other than this you know what they list on the back uh, Syrah Merlot, Petit Syrah, Zinfandel and Cabernet Sauvignon now if they're holding to what's I don't know if wine has to stick with labor or la label not labor label laws when they list ingredients because obviously they don't really always list everything but um, Usually, you put the most prevalent or the most uh, prominent ingredient first. So, we're going to assume that we know assuming is usually bad. Uh, that it's mostly Syrah Merlot, and then uh, Petit Syrahs in there, Zin and Cab Sauv are in there for a little extra body flavor structure. But uh, anyway, so interesting wine by all, just already by the name. Uh, it's 2005. I, I found a few reviews on it, and most of them were pretty good. <clears throat> I already can smell some stuff already, you know, out of there. Um, it had some pretty good reviews, so um, let's let's see what it's like. So I'm getting initially. I got some like candy out of it, red candy, like hard candy, um, but as I smell it some more, it reminds me of, of red sauce, as in like Italian, like spaghetti sauce. Though my family never called it gravy, I don't know where, where that came from. I guess some, some Italians up in the Northeast call it gravy, we always call it sauce, or at least our family here calls it sauce. But anyway, so it reminds me of, of pasta sauce a little bit. It's kind of, I'm getting kind of a meaty smell out of it. Um, I wouldn't say it's gamey, but I'm getting kind of a meaty smell. Not quite barbecue, not quite like that mesquite smell, but a little bit of that. And I'm getting a little bit of the alcohol. Um... Thirteen and a half. You know, it's not bad. Let's check it out. See how it tastes. It didn't really come across on on the palate like it did on the nose. Lots of tannins. I haven't had a red in a while that really attacked my mouth with tannins. Um, so it's kind of nice to get one of those. I mean, all the reds we've had in the past, you know, even the reds I had recently, the, um, the Merlot from Condé de Velasquez, I really loved it. Um, and it didn't have that much on tannins, but you can taste the fruit. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. It's also kind of sour. I'm getting almost like a, like a, a sour candy part to it. Oh, I forgot to start the timer. Okay, well we'll just we'll just guess when seven minutes is up. sour um, big tannins on it I'm get, I got the fruit initially kind of sweet it's not bad um, it's got a decent finish to it too I mean it's, it's it's a pretty long finish on it but I can't really nail anything about the wine I mean it's 7.99 it's not a bad wine um, I think it needs to be paired with food uh, this is definitely not a wine 
you know, lots of wines you really need to pair with food, but, you know, there's lots of times I like just to enjoy a glass of wine, not really have to worry about pairing it with food. And this is a, this is a wine that I think would benefit from pairing with food. Um, I would say my initial score is an 84 on it. It's not bad. It's solid. So, so a blog, uh, The Winery, I think it's called, and it's W-H-I-N-E-R-Y. I'll see if I can link that up below. Um, that person gave it uh, a pretty good review, and they paired it with pizza. And I can see pairing this with some pizza. This might be a good pizza wine. I mean, I know I gave it an 84, but, you know, this means it's, it's swell. I mean, you know, I just think it's not quite my liking, though I'm really intrigued by the fact that it's got all these varietals in there, and I'm, I'm a sucker for, for stuff like that. Um, especially when you put some Zinfandel and Syrah in, in, a, in a blend, you know, two of my favorite varietals. But um, actually, I came up with a phrase the other day to myself, my favorite varietal is one I've never had yet. How about that? That should be my little tagline. My favorite varietal is one I've never had. Or actually, my favorite wine is one I haven't had yet. Because it's like, you know, I was telling somebody this, it's like a story. Every bottle has a story. Sometimes it's a good story. Sometimes it's a bad story. But and sometimes it's a horror story. But, um, you know, there's there's so much out there with wine to discover. And, you know what, um, that's one of the best things about doing this show is, is finding all these new wines. Like I said, 84, I can see pairing it with some pizza, um, maybe maybe some pasta, um, maybe some barbecue, stuff like that. Um, it's not a horrible one. Actually, I, I like it, but, you know, I figure 84 is about right. So, um, what else? Um, friend me up. Click all the links. Uh, tonight, if you're watching this today on Wednesday, tonight, um, if you are in the Pennsylvania or the St. Charles, St. Charles area, Missouri. Um, let's see, it's it's a, a coax cable, coaxial cable in the Pennsylvania area. And it's a bunch of little towns that I don't know where they're at in Pennsylvania. And then uh, St. I think it's St. Joseph, Missouri. Maybe St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, it's NRG cable, I think what it is. I mean, I, I'd have to look it up. Anyway, so if you're on one of those cable systems or you know somebody on those cable systems, tell them to watch me. I'm going to be on tonight, local time, um, just before 10.30. They said 10.23, so that's p.m. So that's, you know, say, make sure you're watching starting at 10.15. And then um, uh, I think it's almost 3.30 in the morning, 3.23 a.m. tomorrow morning. So Thursday morning, 3.23 in the morning. So, um, you know, check check it out. Uh, they're going to have the episode number 52 that it's, it's entitled Mission Accomplished. Uh, and that's where I kind of talked about uh, Gary V mentioning me on episode 724 at 3 minutes 16 seconds of Wine Library TV. Yes, I remember where it's at. Uh, I'm going to make sure I get this perfect because uh, I don't want to be guessing. But I'm really excited about this. It's called i2TV. It's a service that I upload all my videos to. And they kind of, uh, places around the country, these cable, uh, these cable companies around the country, they figure out what they want to show. So let's see. Um, here we go. Coaxial cable in Pennsylvania and NPG cable in St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, like I said, I don't know where, there's a bunch of little, not little, a bunch of towns listed and I didn't recognize any of them, but they're in Pennsylvania, so I don't know what part of the part of the state it is. But if you have coaxial cable, there's a channel called i2TV. There should be a channel on, on your system, like an access channel of some sort. Check it out or have your friends check it out. They don't watch this show. That's all I got. I'm just excited about this. <laughs> I got nothing else for you. Hopefully this was uh, not too long. We'll see everybody again. Oh, oh, oh. Should have an interview coming up soon. The wine should be showing up today. It's going to be awesome. Details. You just have to wait. This is going to be, for me, phenomenal, monumental, and outstanding. That's it. We'll see everybody again next time. Oh, 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 oh. Fantasy football. Keep forgetting to do this. Fantasy football, CBS League, head-to-head. -head. I got five players. I think I'm going to get back at my sixth player today. So uh, somebody was asking me about it. If you want to sign up, sign up. Let me know. At me, D me, email me. You've got all the links here. And if you're not watching on the website, go to the website. Especially if you're watching off the Viddler player. There's a little logo down here. You click on it. It takes you to the website. Um, I should point that out more often. 
Go to the website. I need 12 total, so we need six more players. as a free league. Join us. as a Twitter wine type of fantasy football league. Uh, I got one of my Twitter buddies, actually one of my good friends, who's also on Twitter. Uh, he's in it. Uh, I'm getting some wine people in there from all around, kind of all around the world at this point. So check it out. Draft is on Friday, you know, midnight. Thursday night going into Friday, so we only have a couple days left. That's it. We'll see you again next time.